Here's the simple, savory way to line baking pans. Before baking almost anything, the pans should be greased or lined with parchment paper to prevent the dough or batter from sticking during baking. In addition to preventing sticking, lining the baking pans also makes it easier to remove cakes, cookies, and brownies, and allows for quick cleanup. In order to get the parchment paper to stay in place, it helps to grease the bakeware with melted butter or canola oil. If you're only covering the bottom of the pan with parchment paper, it's not necessary to grease it because the paper on the bottom will not slide. For a square pan, use a piece of parchment paper larger than the bottom of the pan. Set the pan on the paper and cut from the corners of the paper to the corners of the pan. Now, place the paper in the pan and the paper will overlap in the corners. The pan is now ready for the batter to be poured into it. For a rectangular cake pan, you can measure the same or lay two strips of parchment paper on top of each other crosswise in a greased cake pan. Make sure you leave enough paper on each side so you can easily lift out the cake. If you're using a round springform pan, first trace a circle on the parchment paper using the bottom of the pan as a guide. Cut out and place in the bottom of the pan. Then take a piece of parchment paper the size of the circumference of the springform pan. Lay the paper in front of you on your work surface and fold it in half lengthwise. Cut a small incision every one and a half inches on the side where the two sides of the paper meet. Cover the inside of the greased springform pan with the paper. The side with the snips goes on the bottom. The parchment paper can stick out a bit above the sides. This way, the batter will rise nicely during baking. That's the savory way to line baking pans.